Hello, my name is Daniel Clift, one of the sales engineers here at Voltage Cyber Airs. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you a demonstration of our secure data sentry product, protecting data in Salesforce and using proxy authentication and Active Directory to further control access to sensitive data. Here you can see a view into the Active Directory where we have a certain users, Dawn, Gary, Phil, etc. And you can see some of these people are members of a group called Sales Engineers. Note, Gary is not a member. In a typical enterprise, users access the internet through a corporate proxy that processes all HTTP traffic looking for threats like viruses and malware. Users can be required to authenticate to use the proxy and gain access. Typically, with nearly every website and SaaS application, the communications between the user's browser and the SaaS endpoints are encrypted using TLS. However, the actual data is processed and stored in the clear. In the demonstration, we will see the protection of the data stored in Salesforce using Sentry and format preserving encryption by intercepting the HTTP traffic. But we are also going to see the use of the credentials supplied to perform authentication to the proxy server be used by Sentry and Secure Data to control which end users are allowed to see clear text data in Salesforce. So an account on Salesforce is not enough. Access to Salesforce and the Sentry proxy interception is not enough. Now a user also needs to be a member of a group that we link to the data types through configuration. First, we will access Salesforce as a user called Phil with the needed privileges. You can see that I'm using a plugin for Firefox that will allow me to easily change proxy settings used, sending all traffic to the proxy server at the IP address of 192.168.233.52. We are also sending the username Phil and his AD password. Now you see Phil can use the internet by authenticating to the proxy, but also access Salesforce and view the company's contacts, Happy, Bashful, Doc, and the others. He can even create new contacts, Snow White. Now we will repeat the steps, but this time as the user Gary. Like before, Gary is able to use the internet and authenticate to the proxy and even access Salesforce. But when accessing the contacts, contacts page, he has shown only the format preserved encrypted values. This is the same raw information that Salesforce is storing, which their admins and processes can view. Sentry is still intercepting the traffic, but the authentication checks for Gary are failing at the time of decryption. He's not in the needed AD group. This technology is mostly used to protect data in SaaS and clouds in relation to internal policies and external regulations, but can be further applied to segment access based on criteria such as a user's role. Or location. For example, only HR can see data on job applicants in Workday. If you have any further questions or would like more information, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with myself or your local Microfocus CyberRes contact.